Well, how's it going, Kingsman? Welcome back to another NTW3. Well, how's it going, Kingsman? Welcome back to another Napoleon Total War battle. Today, we are back with the Grand Battle Mod, and we are on a 3v3. This one fought between the French on one side with the Russians and the Rheinbund. Confederation of the Rhine, I guess you should say. The face in them is going to be an Austrian. I'm not sure how many Austrian armies there are. I know of at least two Austrian armies. Um, and oh yes, a... What is this? British. Okay, so they are the British. I was almost like struggling to see that. Um, yeah, so the British as well. And I, I do believe it's two Austrian armies. I... I hope it's two Austrian armies that are not getting that wrong, but it looks like we have some artillery getting sniped by some Hussars. Man, they took out those guns. That is a huge loss. I believe this is back on Waterloo again, surprisingly. I'm not I'm wondering why they're fighting up Waterloo so much. Um but you will notice that uh graphics are fixed. Sorry about that first video. It was causing me a headache too. I should have just restarted it, but, you know, I was already committed, so I kind of didn't. Um, but it's fixed now, so we should be all good to go. On this flank, Austria and France are dueling. Get some... Firing in return here. Austria reforming their lines already. Yeah, so France is dealing with a flanking force here. A lot of Austrian lines advancing against their position. And then more Austria here on the flank, which means there is a UK in the center that will be facing the Confederation of the Rhine. Obviously, we do have a Russia who is going to be pushing over to help out on that one flank. Um, so far. With, with the French fighting on that flank against Austria, I can only imagine the Cav engagement here. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm all over the place until we de get, you know, the lines kind of drawn. Another LLC fight. Raging some sappers taking on the Austrian sappers. But the main fight is going to be over here for the time being. A lot of French and Austrian infantry pairing up against each other. Cavalry weight and reserve. Artillery going to be setting up here momentarily. Here, more cavalry. Oh my gosh, we have a huge engagement here. Austria going against the Confederation of the Rhine and actually winning this portion of the fight in the center. Got some more Hussars. Versus Hussars. I, it looks like it's Hussar versus Hussar. And uh, the Rhine Bund, the Confederation of the Rhine does take that. Over here, the UK are slowly pushing up here. They have some skirmishers, line of tree behind them. Does look like we have some more Hussars charging in against the skirms. Right, so the UK keep advancing, being delayed only momentar momentarily. Um, the the ooh, that's some artillery crashing in. Um, but yeah, so Austria is converging on France in two locations. You can see this fight, which too far away, I guess, to get the sound, or maybe the sound's just too much. Oh yeah, so Russia is over here. Grenadiers in the main line. They have 507 men.
Yeah, Austria has quite a, a large battle line here. It looks like they're trying to push up with their ally. In one large line, you see the line starting to extend all the way towards the British. With Russia getting the troops into position, but still, France is going to get hammered on this flank. They are probably going to have to pull back this side. We have a cavalry charge going in. Cavalry going to meet them from France, a square as well. And yeah, Russia is going to get themselves into this fight here. Um, the Confederates of the Rhine does have artillery that can help support their position, so I wouldn't be too concerned about that. And they are going to be taking on the British, so a nice 1v1 here. Over here is where it's going to get a little messy, may I say. Dare I say, the little messy units are going to be kind of meshing together, Russian and French units. You can see already the battle line quite well drawn up. And smoke bathing this whole right flank. You got some dragoons sneaking through the smoke. Austria's cavalry to meet them. That is a heavy amount of smoke. That's a lot of guns firing. Let's see if we can even see anything here. Oh, you can see the bullets hitting the ground. That is so cool. When they fire the bullets, strike the ground because some of them miss. That is a amazing detail I never even noticed. See, you can see the bullets hitting. They're not even all hitting. That is that is crazy. The line has been drawn. This is a massive, this is several miles long battle line. This is, you know, how many miles would that be? Three miles? As the crow fly? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Can't say I know miles in this game very well. Um, <clears throat> now, the Confederation of the Rhine does have a decent force to be able to push up on this flank. In fact, it looks like the UK actually wanting to reform maybe oh let's see if they get some shots off they do Running, oh my gosh, what is happening here? It's just so close to each other, guys. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. This is insanely close. Both of these volleys are probably going to be telling on each other very... Oh, hold that thought. Is there... Dang it, I'm a mess in cavalry. Yes, I am. Infantry on both sides for Austria and France getting real close to each other here. Cavalry charging in, trying to go for artillery pieces. It looks like France may be uh, pushing... Or not France, Austria may be pushing onto France very aggressively. Some Russian artillery real nice and close. I think the UK are going to win this. Our men are running. Good grief. Look at this, this total push being made. That's going to be quite brutal. And I do believe now we're going to have some bayonet charges here from Austria. Going for the guns. We have an officer involved in this fight. Look at him going.
Yeah, and over here, yep, you can definitely tell. I mean, things are looking a little bit brutal here for the Confederation of the Rhine and Russia. So we have some cavalry that's going to charge in here. Looks like the UK and the Russians getting all mixed up. Even the Austrians getting all mixed up in a melee. Same goes over here. Although Russia's reinforcing this side. Over here, it does look like Russia's actually gotten pushed back a little bit by Austria in the tree line. Got some Russian crossiers. Our men are running. For the line is progressing, though, so far. And over on this side, it is just a constant melee with Russia, the UK, and Austria. Confederates the Rhine actually pushing in several spots here, even pushing out and getting that UK flank. Excellent job with that, sending cavalry against the UK as well. Looks like they have a flank with the Russian U line. Brandt's going to send some infantry to try to stop that. They're going to get met by some Azars from the Confederation of the Rhine. France still holds the bit of this hill. We do have some oh, Austrian man, cavalry man. that tried to uh, get behind the Russian line. They did get saved there. It was nice. They dropped a lot of Austrians there. So this line is actually managing to hold with Russia reinforcing France who bore the brunt of that attack. Now over here it is still indecisive who's going to win. The UK charging in to protect their exposed flank. Russia's going to have to react to this. You can see Confederation of the Rhine has a huge reserve to push into this gap that the coalition has created. With some Scottish Highlanders engaging better show the Rhine's infantry. some instrument some maybe some skirmishers push it up in this gap and look at this Russia still holding it. Austria is starting to push here and we have I mean Austria making an excellent push still I think they're winning this line fight against Russia France has that reserve although Austria is running into some uh trouble here on their left flank. You have some guns sitting. Are they even firing? Say, say. 
Need more. Man, it's turning into a massive melee here. You can see Confederation of the Rhine has actually pushed a lot under the UK flank, easing up even more troops to be able to push into this defense. Oh, the flank on Austria. These lines are so mixed up. Seeing a lot of breaking from the UK. The UK get really focused down here. And over here, oh, man, so oh, far, man. things seem to be holding a little bit at least. Austria being held off. This is two armies of Austria, keep in mind. Russia and the Rhine make it a huge push forward. Austria is trying to hit the flank. We have a nice little cab charge with some Lancers. The men of the Meantime, France is trying to pull back without getting totally overwhelmed here with Russia. As they keep trying to fight against Austria, this fight's been brutal for them. This Grenadier unit holding firm. Oh, we have some uh, Ledoux or some Grenadier Cheval. As Austria keeps trying to push around that flank. We're starting to see the Imperial Alliance winning here. I missed the huge melee that, that uh, Brian went into with the UK. Sorry, guys. There's too much happening at once. UK have almost entirely broken. That's a huge win here. As this battle's been pretty even. A landslide victory on the right flank in a deadlock in the center. And France does have that reserve waiting to be deployed. Fusilier Battalion holding strong.
Rich and Austria are gonna face each other. They're going to start rolling up the flank. At least I would assume that is their plan with the mass amount of force they have left. And uh, this is starting to turn against the uh, coalition very quickly. I'm just calling the coalition because it has more of the coalition on their side. So I know Russia is on the wrong side, but technically Russia was France's ally for a brief moment during the Napoleonic Wars, so. I think we have a renewing of an Austrian push. Gosh, you can't look the wrong direction or else you can't get a good shot without the uh, bottles not loading. There we go. Oh, Mamluks went for the Austrian artillery. Oh, we have Austria trying to defend their guns. And the Confederates of the Rhine get their Fusiliers in there in time. Oh, they're gonna get volleyed in the flank, though. Send the Grenadiers in. Imagine standing right here where you'd be standing, I think, about this high off the ground. Be a rough spot to be. I think his French line may be getting charged here as this battle seems to be winding down a little bit. Okay, Russia repelled a melee charge on that side. And Austria's trying to get real close here. The men of fatigue must wrestle. for a bayonet charge. Oh, yeah, I can see the trickle-down effect. Nassau, or uh, not Nassau, uh, France now pushing here against Austria with Russia, and then, of course, you have the Confederation of the Rhine pushing as well. 
all along the side guys this is looking very successful for the Imperial Alliance Grenadiers, are they gonna go for the guns? I think the guns are off. Not, they don't gotta worry about the guns. I do believe, yeah, this whole this whole Austria is gone. Look at that general just sitting there. He's already writing to his uh, superiors of the victory they're gonna have. Russia, go for a bayonet. Do it. Another general over here for Austria now. Fighting to the last. of infantry just constantly hammering their position. It's kind of hard to do anything against it. And I do believe that will be the battle. Yeah, they're conceding defeat at this point. And uh, the nice thing is you can run your LLC away to just finish off the battle, but well played, um, especially for the Imperials with a push. But you can see the kills actually were decent even on the uh, losing side. But you have a captain here. Um, he played as the French, got 21, 2017 for the kills. Or 27, sorry, not 17. Uh, 2127, you have Ponca as Russia with 2743, Overlord as the Confederation of the Rhine with 35, um, KB as the UK with 25, um, Object Man with 29 as Austria, and then Monkey as the other Austria with 15 kills. Uh, but uh, I'd say a pretty hands down, decisive, well, at least it wasn't maybe in the beginning on every flank. The UK got pretty kicked around. Um, and they were the ones I think where the real focus was. And it ended up uh, working out for the French side. The French alliance. 
and uh, was a very satisfying battle to watch. So anyway, guys, that'll be it for me today. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, as always, thank you for your support on the channel. If you're not supporting it and you would like to, just hitting the simple, you know, simple thing is hitting the subscribe button. Um, that does a lot for increasing my channel. Also, just commenting or liking the videos that I post. Um, all that helps push me into the algorithm and gets my content out there a little bit more. So, anyway, guys, you have a great history day. Stay safe, and as always, I'll catch you all in another video.